we had a discussion about exception handling almost exception handling completed sir just uh, there are some small add on concepts i want to discuss related to this exception handling okay what is the first uh, add on first add on concept is uh, logging okay remember that just uh, logging and uh, debugging logging and uh, debugging <coughs> sorry logging and debugging these two things i have to discuss right but anyway sir if you go for high end programming then these words matter a lot the people who are coming from other languages sir i mean mostly from java you can able to understand you can able to aware sir i'm sure that the people who are who are coming from other languages you people can aware what is the what is the specialty of logging debugging like a bit high end concept but being at core python level basic idea about this terminology must be required sir okay so debugging purpose next and after that yes yes debugging shake logging what is the meaning of that you should aware the basic idea that about my main intention sir so that you people can feel in the future if you require to perform debugging if you require to perform logging oh there is some facilities are there like uh, you should have clarity about this one sir sir now my requirement is sir what is the what is the meaning of log logging what is the what is the meaning of logging sir sir do you know in our in our lab exams i mean lab lab in the college days if you are going for lab college college lab sir computer lab if you are going then automatically there is one log book is there are getting every remember right in some colleges there is one log book book by default will be there sir so there you have to write which system you are taking and at what time you entered in the lab like uh, everything you require to write there correct correct anyone having this type of experience in your colleges log that book is by default considered as log book even even public internet internet center okay public cyber cafe internet center sir even in the internet centers also sometimes they are going to ask they are going to ask sir compulsory you require to write write your information in the log at what time at which which system you are you are using like now i have just one small important important my my important question is what is the advantage if you are going to what is the what is the advantage if you are going to write the, in the log file can i can i spell out if you, if you are writing something in the log book what is the advantage we are going to get yes keep record of all the things in the future okay suppose today how many students are coming to this computer center are getting i want uh, i want to i want to count i want to count okay then immediately open the log file sir how many entries are there based on that oh today some 30 members came to the lab which your roll number people came who are not coming to the lab can i can i able to track uh, complete information or not yes track track complete information by default will be there one thing next uh, suppose system number 8 uh, mouse is not there <laughs> are getting sir mouse at the end of the day we are not saying mouse at system number 8 or system number 7 then automatically yet a system number 7 or 8 uh, which person used the system are getting if something goes wrong if something goes wrong then automatically i can able to identify the person very easily correct or not are you respond man i can able to easily i can able to track oh who is that person now who 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 used that system then immediately make a phone call or otherwise immediately call that person and so on like uh, the same thing the same thing is going to be happen right so even for our applications also even for our applications also highly recommended highly recommended to store sir information in the log file instead of log book we are going to use the word log file remember this one sir we are going to use what log file okay assume this is my application assume this is my application sir so a request came yet uh, sir morning 10 o'clock a request came from india sir for so and so purpose this request process at yet so and so time okay like sir a new request came okay a request uh, sir process like everything will be recorded in the log file remember this one sir 
everything by default will be recorded in the log file what is the advantage sir what the what is the advantage suppose here assume at the afternoon 12 o'clock okay at the afternoon 12 o'clock my server okay my my server shut down okay server server shut down sir so immediately i have to identify where is the problem server got shut down we didn't observe server got shut down then immediately what i will do is i will open the log file I will open the log file. Hey, at 12 o'clock, either any exception reported in the log file, either any exception reported in the log file, I will check, sir. Oh, at 12 o'clock, there is some SQL exception came. Assume that there is some database related exception came. That's why my server got shut down. Oh, at 12 o'clock, database not supported, man. That's why the server got shut down. That's why application sir, failing. Application failing to fulfill end user request like that. Next, again. When this problem resolved, sir, yet uh, 145 something like a uh, 1345 something like, sir, the problem got resolved. Like uh, everything by default will be there in the log file so that, sir, everything we can able to track. If something goes wrong, if something goes wrong, then automatically we can able to use this log file for debugging purpose also. Are you in a position to understand, right? Yes, Arpita, same. Correct. Correct. Sir, are you in a position to understand, right? So, logging information, is it recommended or not recommended? Highly recommended, man. For every activity, better to keep a record. Better to keep a record so that it is very helpful for the future purpose. Do you know, right? Okay. So, our ancestors, our ancestors, your father or otherwise your mother, okay, wrote, assume that your father, your mother wrote, okay, this kid born, so on, so date so and so date at so and so time okay like that's why now you are able to celebrate your date of birth man are you getting that's why you are able to celebrate your date of birth suppose you can ask your father you can ask your father father what is your date of birth sometimes if the father is coming from the village background are i don't know ra are i don't know sir i have approximated age is 50 years around only some people are going to if i can ask my father if i can ask my father my father is telling sorry i don't know my date of birth ra like why you don't know because no one recorded no one recorded but if i can ask my mother then automatically my mother is telling my date of birth is august first or something like how mother you can aware my grandpa wrote every event in some book so that at what time i born at what time my mother born at what time my mother brother brother born everything is available at which place that day what happened everything sir very recently i saw that book really i felt very happy Yes, sir. sir, in 90s, some 80s, whenever I born, my grandfather wrote very neatly in so and so place at so and so time, Durga, Durga got born. My mother got born at what time? Every information is there, but my father's information is not there. Are you getting? Because my father said grandfather, not up to the mark. <laughs> Are you able you to understand, right? So, <laughs> if, uh, yes, <laughs> okay. So, my mother's side, grandpa, my mother's father is too good. You wrote everything, man. But my father, nah, father is the, he don't know, he don't know, he don't know the importance. So, then automatically didn't write anything. Then automatically, if I can ask my father, I father, what you about your data about? Sorry, Ra, I don't know. I don't know, Ra, like my father is going to tell. So I hope you can able to understand right? if the events are going to be recorded, okay, for future purpose, it is definitely helpful, sir, even, even for our application also. Remember that, sir, even for our application also, each and every application flow, each and every exception, compulsory, compulsory, we have to, we have to record for the future purpose. Best example, sir, if this class is going to be recorded or not? Are either this class is going to be recorded or not? Yes, it is going to be recorded. So tomorrow, if you want to listen this class again, again, are you in a position to listen or not? This is nothing but logging, man. I hope logging is required in our life. Are logging is required in our life? Yes, yes. Is logging is required for our applications? Yes. So the flow, application flow, sir, recording into a file is nothing but logging. Okay. What is the biggest advantages of logging? The main advantages of logging are we can use a log files for debugging purposes. If something goes wrong, by if something goes wrong by using log files, by using log files, we can perform debugging. We can perform debugging. Debugging will become very easy, sir, if a log file is available. Remember that, sir, okay? 
ಸರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈ ಫ್ಲಾಗ್ ಫೈಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಡಿಬಾಗ್ ಇಂಬೈ ರಿಫಾಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ ಸರ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಶೋರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಸರ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ನಂಬರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕೇಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಓಕೆ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಲಾಗ್ ಫೈಲ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಲಾಗಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅವರ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸರ್ ಎಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಟಾಪ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಲಾಗಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸರ್ ಸೊ ಟು ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಲಾಗಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಲಾಗಿಂಗ್ Python contain one inbuilt module. What is that module, sir? Logging. Can you please read this one? What is this module name? Are, what is this uh, module name? Module name is nothing but logging. Logging, right? Okay. This one is nothing but logging. Okay. Like, uh, sir, now one, one student is asking Vedant, I hope. Sir, what is the difference between logging under database? Are you getting logging under database? Sir, in the database, our application data, usually we are going to store. our application data we are going to store in the database something like customer's information customer's information these kind of things we are going to use in our database are getting so like the customer bill information and so on next term so logging means sir flow flow application important events will be recorded in the log file remember this one sir okay like so python contain inbuilt logging module to implement logging right okay remember that sir you know is there any chance of third party api like log 4j maybe a chance maybe a chance sir but uh, most of the times python is going to provide rich library we are not required to depend on third party library is very rare but definitely maybe a chance okay go ahead i hope clear yes java logging is inbuilt logging is not up to the mark that's why we are going for log 4j or some other logging frameworks but here python inbuilt logging is good no problem at all okay like which module sir which module we are going to use are which module we are going to use logging module what is the module name sir logging logging module now sir logging levels remember this one sir logging levels levels sir sir we have we can able to provide sir log information based on the severity are getting we can able to provide log log information based on the severity severity right so depending on type of information severity sir sir the total log information divided into six levels sir remember this one what the what is the total things are divided into how many level six six levels right do you know very dangerous problem sir sir if this is a very dangerous very critical situation is coming then automatically such a type of level is nothing but critical are you getting such a type of level is nothing but critical internally sir it is going to be represented by using some number 50 but how to use where we have to use that number we will discuss don't worry sir so critical critical means sir do you know suppose a person is in a hospital assume that one of uh, some expert son is in hospital sir now the doctor is telling the situation is very critical are you getting the situation is very critical what is the meaning of that what is the meaning of that critical means almost danger gone almost gone almost gone okay so may die any time that is uh, so such type of sir application sir situation is that this event is a very critical event sir at any point of time application is going to be down sir you can't uh, sir our application not in a position to process our request gone gone completely such type of information is by default considered as critical represents a very serious problem that needs high attention remember that sir so that uh, represents a very serious problem that needs high attention okay like next uh, second level sir uh, error remember that the people who knows java you can able to understand my words very easily right okay j unit next and after that do you know log 4j like java related these words are common even in the python python also very advanced level application web application level enterprise level these words are going to be used just here basic idea i want to provide sir what is the what is the first one critical what is the second one sir ha uh, error its value is 40 error means uh, problem is serious problem only but not uh, that much critical but not that much critical suppose very critical in the next one hour may be gone 
ఓకే రైట్ క్లాస్ నో ఎస్ ఆఫ్ నో సీరియస్ ప్రాబ్లం ఓన్లీ ఆఫ్టర్ త్రీ డేస్ ఆర్ ఫోర్ డేస్ ఓన్లీ డాక్టర్స్ ఆర్ గోన్ టు కన్క్లూడ్ ఆర్ గెటింగ్ ఆఫ్టర్ త్రీ ఆర్ ఫోర్ డేస్ ఓన్లీ డాక్టర్స్ కెన్ ఏమో టు కన్క్లూడ్ ఓకే లైక్ సచ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఈస్ బై రిఫర్ కన్సర్ ఎస్ ఎర్ ఆర్ సార్ రిప్రజెన్స్ ఏ సీరియస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ రిప్రజెన్స్ ఏ సీరియస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ లైక్ దిస్ రైట్ ఎస్ ఓకే దిస్ ఈస్ ద సెకండ్ వన్ సార్ ఎర్ ఆర్ నెక్స్ట్ థర్డ్ వన్ వార్నింగ్ ఎస్ వార్నింగ్ ఎస్ ఎస్ కోహెన్ సార్ ద సేమ్ the same you are expecting from java even in java logging also these kind of things are there warning warning means sir, sir warning warning means sir represent a warning message sir some caution must be required it is alert to the programmer sir there is a there, there is a curve curve road take a bit special care are you getting so you are while traveling on the road sir you are going to see some signals say danger zone take a bit special care or something like warning it is a alert alert to the programmer its value is nothing but some 30 remember that sir 30 it is just a alert to the programmer next warning next term uh, info just a information sir info info is nothing but just a information 20 represents msa with some important information remember that with some important information like uh, info next uh, debug debug sir debug debug mode debug 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 message means uh, its value is the 10 its value is the 10 what it means is represents a message with the debugging information remember with the debugging information right sir sixth one sixth one not set what is this one sir not set uh, zero not set means zero zero means uh, represents uh, that level is not a set remember that so these things are logging priorities vedanta vari i hope you can able to understand these things are logging priorities sir which which type of priority information you want to store you can set you can set so the corresponding levels by default is going to be there sir sir zero means logging level not set logging level not set not set means logging may not support something like a logging level not set it's up to the zero remember but anyway we never going to worry about this one sir most of the times we have to talk about sir critical error warning info debug are you getting right something like in our in our java we can use the word info warn trace fatal debug something like that. correct right okay same these things are sir logging priority levels remember sir how many how many levels of log information we can able to store sir five levels or six levels you can able to specify critical error warning info debug right okay that's all next up by default while executing python program only warning and the higher level messages will be displayed are you getting right only by default if you are not going to set anything sir if we, if you are not going to set anything sir then automatically only this is the default information either warning or high level only this information by default will be displayed to the log file remember if you are not going to set anything only this one by default will be there but based on your requirement you can set info you can set a debug no problem at all but how you can set a logging level that part i'm going to discuss don't worry about that sir up to this is the clear for all of you right what is the need of logging how many levels of logging information is there levels of logging is six levels right okay remember now my question is how to implement logging how to how to implement the logging how you can able to implement logging sir very very simple terminology listen how you can able to implement logging so to perform logging first we require to create a file to store messages and we have to specify which level of messages we have to store remember that sir only two things first we have to specify name of the file name of the file sir in which file you want to you want to store you want to store the data okay in in which file next uh, which level messages sir uh, you have to store logging level sir how much information how many how many two two sir two types of information you have to specify name of the log file and the level messages how you can able to specify this right okay we can do this by using basic 
can I can I spell out sir what is the what is the function name basic config remember that what is the function name sir basic config function basic config function of logging module we have to give sir what is the basic config function of logging module we require to use okay how do you can specify to which file i have to write sir very simple very simple logging dot basic config logging dot basic config sir now here you have to specify file name are you getting sir to which file you have to write to which file we have to write sir log dot txt most of the times log file name is always log maybe with the timestamp and so on log dot txt next uh, level sir level is equal to logging dot logging dot sir by default either warning or it's a higher level messages only either 30 or 40 or 50 logging or error, warning or error or critical messages only so just let me take warning if you are not going to specify also no problem at all sir which data by default will be saved sir either warning or it's a higher information only sir what is this one sir can you can spell out what is the function name respond what is the function name we are using log uh, basic config are you getting what is the function name we are using sir basic basic config is the function this function is available in which module this function is available in which module logging logging module right okay that's all next uh, do you know if this log file is not there if this log file is not there sir if this log file is not there okay no problem this log file will be created automatically this one okay this log file automatically will be created right next uh, is these words are in uppercase or not yes these words are in uppercase only are pita okay levels are always in the uppercase instead of this one if you want you can take 30 40 50 numbers i discuss right that number also you can able to take no problem at all next uh, sir after creating log file we can write the messages to that file by using the following methods what those methods write sir if you want to write them if you want to write the sir logging dot logging dot debug message i want to write sir debug debug message i want to write them. okay sir debug message logging dot debug message you can you can write yes will they be in the same file yes all the messages happen you can able to write to the same file remember that okay logging dot debug message okay like next one after that logging dot info logging dot info like uh, info message will be will be written to sir whatever message you are passing argument by default it will be it will be written so sir logging dot warning next one after that logging dot error logging the critical critical so function names is a level names only the difference is here lower case right debug debug message can you please write next one after that info message can you please write warning message can you please write like sir here level level compulsory here you have to use what upper case but here lower case means uh, these things are by default considered as function names remember this one these lower case is nothing but function names observe that so by using these function names we can able to write the corresponding message the corresponding message to this log file first aware sir how to configure how to how to configure okay log file next and after that how you can able to write this information okay clear what functions are there next how many levels are there what is the advantage of logging a small chota program we will discuss don't worry about that <laughs> don't worry just a small just how these functions are going to be work sir where is the log file i will i will show don't worry about that clear are you able to understand sir once i will go for a small example then you can able to get much clarity about this one sir okay sir now let me go for a small write a python program to create a log file and the writing warning and the higher level messages sir write write a python program to create a log file and the right right the warning warning and the higher level messages higher higher level messages sir. sir can you please tell higher level messages warning and the higher level warning and the higher level means warning error critical remember this one sir warning and the higher level means warning error and the critical let me go for a small python program yes sir this is my test.py 
how i can able to do that first point import logging <coughs> import logging can you please import logging module next the uh, logging dot basic config regarding what is the function name sir logging dot basic config next the uh, file name is equal to file name is equal to log dot txt file name is equal to log log dot txt level level is equal to logging the sir which level we require ah can you can spell out sir logging the which level either warning or higher level that's why can you please specify warning okay that's all sir even log dot txt file is not available no problem at all this line is going to create but where it's going to be created sir in the current working directory what is our current working directory sir okay d cola durg <coughs> yes observe that what is our current working directory d cola durga classes are getting in the current working directory by default it will be created sir i will show i will open that uh, file anywhere I, sir let me cross check in the d cola durga classes Currently, I'm looking about the column Durga classes. Either in a log dot txt file is there or not? Not there, man. Not there. Okay. If you want, uh, sir, dir, dir, log dot txt. Is it there or not? Not there. There is no such type of file. But, but if I execute this program, definitely it's going to create no problem at all, sir. Okay. Now, just for flow purpose, I'm taking, sir. I'm not, uh, it is just for flow, flow purpose, I'm taking, sir. What I'm trying to take, print of, print of, Python, Python, logging demo, Python, logging demo, just, uh, so this is the output I'm expecting, but uh, the data should return to log file, which data, sir, okay, logging dot, debug, logging dot, debug message, debug, debug uh, sorry, debug message, I have to take, debug, logging dot, debug, sir, which, which message, which message you want to write, uh, Sir, this is a debug message. Just observe that. Mm. This is a debug, debug message. I'm, I'm going to write, sir. This is a debug message. Okay, like same way, you can able to take all the levels, right? No problem at all. Debug, info. Uh, can I can I spell out, sir? Info. This is info message. Next, uh, what is the next one, sir? Debug, info, uh, warning, debug, info, warn, warning, warning. Next uh, error, next and after that critical. Error, next and after that critical. Critical, like this, right? Info, warning, next and after that error. Error, under then critical, like this, right? Okay, that's all. So, if I run this program, which data by default will be added to log file? Either warning or it's a higher level. Correct or not? Either warning. Or it's a higher level. Which, which data will be added? Only this data will be added to the log file. Remember this one, sir. Only this data by default will be added to the log file. Because you specify required logging level is warning. Remember this one. Even this log file is not there. No problem. This line is going to create. Now, have a look once. Py test dot py. Can you please observe Python logging demo is my output because I wrote the print statement because something like sir where this data by default will be there. Let me open. What is the file name? Are what is the file name? Log log dot txt. It will be created or not? It will be created or not? Yes, it will be created. No problem at all. Now log dot txt is coming, sir. Can you please observe? Warning message is there, error message is there, critical message is there. Clear? Are you able to understand? Okay. Sir, now assume, assume that if you are not specifying level, what will happen, sir? I want to check. If you are not specifying the level, level, let me remove this one. Is it going to be accepted or not? We will, we will check, sir. If I'm not specifying that, sir, now warning message uh, by default. Some small change I'm taking because if this change by default will be reflected or not, I want to check, sir. Okay. Now, have a look once accepted let me open log file let me open log file in the log file have you observed now again again because i'm executing again now that's why continuation data by default will be displayed everyone can aware sir what is the default logging level are what is the default logging level respond what is the default logging level warning warning so that's why 
either warning or it's a either warning or it's higher level by default will be displayed remember that sir okay now have a look once sir sir i don't want warning i don't want warning or it's higher level i want to debug or it's higher level i want to debug or it's higher level what i have to do is level is equal to logging dot logging dot okay debug logging dot debug debug like this i'm taking sir sir we are not getting any error then why warning error on a critical message is printed to the log file because we are using this message man are you getting we are using onkar we are using the corresponding methods sir. that's why it is going to be added don't feel that only in the case of error it will be added because intentionally we are calling the methods that's why but uh, where we have to use this information inside accept block remember that inside accept block if an exception rises then automatically add these lines sir. then automatically the corresponding data by default will be added to the log file onkar <clears throat> are you able to get yes sir. that is uh, that example also i will discuss don't worry about that sir clear just my intention is are you seeing the data will be written to the log file or not that is the only thing you require to check okay now observe sir here logging dot debug i took logging dot debug now total data either debug debug info like because debug info like this have you observed right debug debug okay info warning error critical complete information by default will be saved let me execute yes let me open the log file let me open the log file have you observed right debug info warning error critical total data by default will be displayed remember i hope you are in a position to understand right okay that this is just the basic idea about the logging concept remember that sir but i have one small doubt sir sir here timestamp is not there are you getting timestamp is not there root means sir it, it is something like uh, main 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 part of the program from the main part of the program this line is printed something like sir now here we can here no date no time no ip address all these sir. sir if you want you can able to you can able to configure at what time this message is going to write on what date this message is going to write whenever the request is coming from which ip address okay complete information by default you can able to write that is advanced level of logging just uh, here whatever basic config is there here we require to add much more options but my intention is just to create basic idea that's why don't worry much about that okay up to this is the clear some person is asking where is the date and time yes date and time that facility is also there no problem at all here we require to just check if you open the google and just check for one or two extra options then date and time by default will be there advanced logging right okay like that. next sir okay sir you are writing something but uh, when we have to write this one i want to store exception information to the log file sir i want to store exception information to the log file how you can able to do that okay like the just observe that sir mm. uh, why debug in red color is this is the problem with the edit plus editor guru prasad are you getting this is uh, uh, i'm using which editor edit plus edit plus that edit plus uh, is not properly recognizing debug okay that's the problem with this one only okay now here observe that so how to write python program exceptions to the log file that's about my my target sir how you can able to write python program exceptions to the log file that's about my requirement right sir very simple okay logging logging dot exception logging dot exception of message if you can use exception method now exception information by default will be written to log file remember that sir sir can you please explain can you please explain with a small chota example so that we can able to get clearly like you may ask a simple example sir let me go for that how you can able to store exception information to the log file how you can able to store program flow to the log file remember that a small meaningful example i want to go for that sir sir now can i can i keep these two lines <clears throat> can i keep these two lines okay now i'm taking debug or info no problem any level you can able to take 
Sir, these two lines I hope you can able to understand. Okay, not required to keep much explanation, right? Sir, now what I want to take is just the now listen a bit very carefully, sir. Logging dot info, just the information message man, just information, huh? Just information. A new request came. A new request, request came, sir. Okay, a new request came because of that it is executing. A new request came. Next, the uh, try. Okay, try, sir. X is equal to int of input of enter enter some first number. Assume that sir. Enter first number like I'm taking. Next time, uh, y is equal to enter second number. Enter enter second second number like this. I'm taking sir. Sir two numbers x sir, and the y. Now I'm trying to take print of x by y. Okay. No problem at all. It's going to print if I provide 10. Second number is the 2. Then automatically 10 by 2, 5.0, we are going to get. Sir, sometimes you may provide 0. Sometimes you may provide TEN. Then may be a chance of exceptions, right? So, except, except 0 division error. Okay. 0 division, 0, 0 division error. Okay. Yes, M, yes, G. Have you remembered? Somewhere we covered. Somewhere we discussed about this one to print exception information, sir. What I will take is if it is coming, sir, print a cannot divide, cannot divide with zero, cannot divide with zero. It will be displayed, it will be displayed to the console, console. But uh, one entry I want to store to the log file also. One entry I want to store to the log file also. Logging dot exception of message. Wonderful. Now, this is just for the end user purpose. I'm keeping just for the future purpose. This exception information I'm saving in the log file also. Sir, if this program is going to be executed thousand times, sir, how many errors are going to come? All those errors by default will be saved permanently in the log file. Remember this one, sir. Sir, same way I'm getting except, except value error. Are you getting accept a value error as message like this right accept value error as message sir print a print a enter print a enter only into values enter only into values like this right sir now sir this information i have to store exception okay this information i have to store exception of message are you getting exception of message like this right sir that's all Next, the logging dot info, just the information message. What I want to write, request the processing completed. <coughs> request the processing completed. Like this, I'm taking, sir. Observe a beautiful example to understand basic idea, sir. What is the logging? How, how it is going to be there and so on. Sir, whenever your request is coming, whenever your request is coming, then automatically, sir, this line will be, will be written to log file. Next, if any exception information is there, then automatically these lines uh, by default is going to write the exception information to the log file. Okay, observe that, sir, without the logging, with the logging, what is the difference you can able to see, sir. Okay, let me run again. Let me run this code. Enter first number 10. Enter second number 2. Okay, 5.0. Perfect. Enter first number 20. Enter second number 33. Okay, it's going to provide 6 points and so on. Enter first number, sir, 45. Enter second number, 3. Okay, 15.0 like this. Okay, like now I'm writing. Enter first number 10. Enter second number 0. Then automatically I can't divide with 0. Next, uh, enter first number, sir, 10. Enter second number, T, E, yeah. Then automatically enter only into values and so on. That's all. Completed, right? Now, at the end of the day, I have to know how many number of requests came for this application. Regarding how many number of requests came for this application, I want to know, sir, where that information is available. If, if it is a, just a standalone application, I'm sending the request from the console, I mean command prompt, that's why I can able to tell. But assume if it's a web application, from anywhere the request is going to come, where that information should be there. Open the log file, open the log file, okay, open the log file. Now, can you please cross check, sir, where are you seeing anywhere? Are you seeing anywhere? Any request came? Any a, a new request came? 
a request processing completed because first time no error no error that's why again again second time again second time observe any request came completed next again third time any request came completed again fourth time sir a new request came but at that time but at that time we have zero division error are you getting we have zero division error sir for fourth request fails sir, we are getting zero division error okay like next the request processing completed next even in the fifth request also invalid literal invalid literal value error by default we are going to get like this sir now complete information is it available in the log file or not can i able to tell how many number of requests came respond can i able to tell how many number of requests came or not are can i able to tell or not yes after 10 days also you open this file after 10 days also you open this file then you can able to say yes how many number of requests came okay next you can able to say at what time i mean sir which exception came which exception came okay like uh, you can able to see sir how many times zero digit error came how many times value error came complete information by default will be there in the log file this kind of concept is nothing but logging for every web application or for every application this logging must be required remember that sir <coughs> are you able to get right sir okay sir what is the size of this log file this is a log file keep on going to be adding 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 and so on but in real time what will happen is most of the time suresh most of the times in the real time what will happen is yet uh, sir there are some cron jobs are going to run yet uh, every mid of the night almost ever whenever date is changing automatically sir the file will be will be uh, sir just stopped a new file will be created for every new date remember that are you getting uh, so for every a new file by default will be created for every once a date is going to be changed that's why most of the times in real time the log file names are log today date is what 11th right log okay log 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 underscore something like 10 10 04 2018 dot txt something like okay sir on 18th how many number of requests came open this one there are some cron jobs we are going to write automatically which are responsible sir to cut the log file up to the freshly open a new log file for the next day automatically mid of the night it will become 11 are you getting mid of the night it will become 11 sir next mid of the night it will become 12 like this okay it is going to be there by default are you getting yes sorry it is it is like a camera recording only recent yes okay your cc cameras how it is going to be recorded are getting only recent but uh, but in the log file all these logs uh, by default will be there sir sir server admin or system admin what he is going to do for every six months or for every one year the old logs uh, he is going to clear unnecessary on the file system these uh, two year before logs uh, three year before logs usually not required so we can able to clear okay that uh, who is going to take care system admin by default is going to take care sir are you able to understand right okay that's sir yes you can it may be it may be text file you can able to try with excel also but if it is excel maybe a chance of some binary right we may may maybe a chance so for that either this one is going to provide support or otherwise we require to go for uh, another third party thing like you can able to check divya that's all sir everyone got basic idea everyone got basic idea of logging Sir, with this, just my intention is not to clear, not to oh, explain full pledged. Just the basic idea in real time for web applications and enterprise application, there is one special concept will be there, just like the logging, logging like this, right? So, just to take a bit special care. Exception handling is the different, logging is the different. Correct or not? Sir, don't feel exception handling is a different concept, logging is the different. Correct or not? Okay. Logging means boss uh, every activity can you please record record even something goes wrong this information will be helpful that is uh, nothing but what logging sir but exception handling means so if something goes wrong our program should not be terminated abnormally we have to define alternative way that thing is by default considered as exception handling most of the people are going to feel exception handling means logging logging means exception handling. no both words are different both activities are different clear 
up to this okay that's all sir one more word i have to introduce for you people right so that you may get uh, much clarity this is also a bit uh, just uh, awareness purpose only this part also i'm going to discuss what is that e is debugging <laughs> are you getting there what is this concept sir debugging sir again again debugging exceptional link logging all the three things are related to some errors you are feeling but all the words are different remember that sir okay activities different activities only even seems to be similar but a different activities only okay what is the meaning of debugging what is the what is the meaning what is the meaning of debugging sir what is the bug what is the bug sir any uh, testing student as is there in this classroom testing testing student <laughs> huh? any any testing testing domain student is there in this classroom uh, usually in the morning batch morning i'm handling selenium classes right <laughs> yeah yeah sir arpita arpita uh, in our testing sir usually in the morning i'm i'm going to discuss i'm usually handling uh, manual manual selenium under testing so what is the what is the defect <laughs> very important question for the testing what is defect or what is the deep uh, bug what is the defect or bug bug like uh, according to their terminology yes okay very simple sir sir any any sir what we call mismatch the deviation of mismatch mismatch between mismatch between uh, do you know expected result <laughs> expected result and the original result are you getting expected result and the original result if any mismatch is there then automatically it is considered as bug correct right arpita yes <laughs> are you getting what is the uh, actual result i mean expected result and actual result okay actual result this thing is by default considered as sir defect or bug <laughs> it is related to the testing sir so luckily i am i am handling selenium and manual classes also in the morning 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 time so that these uh, words uh, really good good domain to learn okay like uh, so mismatch mismatch between expected result and actual so what is the what is the meaning this is bug sir now once a tester identified the bug sir just a matter of one minute observe that observe observe a bit very carefully sir so development team development team we are developers right okay development team what uh, they are going to develop the application sir once a development team is going to develop the application now this development team hand over this application to the testers at very top level i am telling sir this is called build build i hope the people who are working in the companies you can able to understand what is the build build is nothing but internal sir format maybe er file or var file something like build so development team is going to hand over this application to the testing team testing team will perform testing if they identified any mismatch or defect or bug immediately i mean they will update that information to the sir development team what the development team is going to do they will do the required changes sir and they will hand over to the modified build are you getting right sir here once a testing team identify some defects or bugs immediately hand over to the development team now what the development team has to do are what the development team has to do the development team has to analyze where is the bug they have to fix that bug are you getting the process are identifying and fixing the bug is by default considered as debugging remember that sir debugging is the responsibility of sir developers sir, not responsibility of testers remember that sir okay so rectify so uh, we have the process of sir where is the problem something goes wrong man where is the problem in our code where is the problem we have to identify we have to identify and we have to fix that this problem is by default considered yeah debugging is it clear for all operate what's the meaning of debugging yes are you getting right so something goes wrong man something goes wrong where is the problem where is the problem that thing by default we have to identify and we have to fix that this is nothing but what debugging remember that sir but make sure sir make sure debugging is the concept which is going to work before hand over the project to the client remember that sir okay so while performing testing 
tester to developer, developer to testing. Here only debugging terminology applicable. Once, uh, sir, this is AUT, uh, I mean, so acceptance testing uh, completed, completed, right? Okay, once completed, then automatically, you know, hand over to the client, uh, move to the production, then there is no word like uh, debugging. Debugging, most of the times, where we can able to perform dev environment, test environment, but not in, but not in, okay, this is dev uh, production environment, right? Okay, remember this one. Most of the times, debugging is the terminology applicable either in dev environment or test environment, but not in the production. Once move to the production, then automatically there is no such type of terminology like debugging. Remember that. Clear? Are you able to understand what the meaning of debugging? Sir, I developed one program, but I'm not getting my expected result. Something goes wrong. Then where is the problem? I have to identify, I have to fix that problem. This process is by default considered a yeah, debugging. Clear? Are you getting? Next, uh, exception handling. Exception handling means while writing the code only, better to have alternatives. Even something goes wrong, you have already alternative, it is going to execute so that normal termination is nothing but exception handling. Next, uh, sir, storing each and every activity flow of the events in our application is nothing but logging. Okay, so complete the different terminology you people should aware, sir, debugging. Sir, now, usually, how you can perform debugging, sir? How you can, you can perform debugging? Most of the times, in many programming languages, most of the times, in many programming languages, we are always going to use the word print <laughs> we are always using if it is the java sop statement the people are going to use correct right sop sop statement the people are going to use okay like uh, but uh, here sir print print is the thing so what i what i will take here just observe yes small small terminology small example i'm going to take sir so what what i will take here is suppose here just uh, this is this is my program sir assume that this is the program this is the program like this i have some program if everything goes fine, man, if everything goes fine, yeah, just x value should be 10. Is the x value the 10 or not? Is the x value the 10 or not? Or otherwise, print of hello, I'm going to take. So, if hello is going to print to the console, if hello is going to print to the console, oh, clear indication that up to this, there is no problem at all. Are you getting? If hello is going to print to the console, up to that line, there is no problem at all. Everyone can able to understand. Now, maybe the problem is in the remaining lines only. Remember like, uh, sir, now in the remaining lines also, just I'm taking print a uh, high something like I'm going to take, sir. Assume. If, if this one is also going to print fast, uh, there is no problem even up to this line also. Maybe the problem is in the remaining lines. Are you able to understand right? Most of the times we are always going to use print, print, uh, print statement while performing debugging. Correct? Do you have any such type of habit? Re, respond man. Are you, have you ever used even for small practice programs also in Amir Pet or otherwise in the regular classes? For small practice programs also, if it is a Java program, assume, if it is the, if it is the Java program, sir, there are huge lines of the code is there, sir. Assume that, sir, I'm not getting my expected output. Then in the middle, suddenly what I'm taking, sir, system dot out dot print alarm, sir, just uh, uh, sunny, something like I'm taking, sir. Are, if sunny is going to print to the console, Oh, clear indication was, oh, the control is coming. The control is coming up to this line. There is no problem at all. The control is coming up to this line. There is no problem at all. Maybe the problem in the remaining lines of the code only, like you can able to identify. So, very common way of performing debugging in Java is the SOP statement. In the Python is nothing but print statement. Clear? Are you getting basic idea? Hope you people are getting basic idea, right? Yeah. So the what is debugging? What is the debugging? What is the meaning of debugging? Just observe that. What is the meaning of debugging? I mean, how you can perform debugging, right? So the process of identifying and fixing the bug is called what debugging, sir. Something goes wrong, man. Something goes wrong. I'm not getting my expected output, sir. Suppose assume that I implemented. 
I implement a one square square functionality, right? Just observe that. I implement a square square it functionality. Uh, sir, square it square it functionality of x. Just observe. Return, return, sir, 2 into x I took, sir. Assume that, assume that. Here, don't feel that. Only one line, only one line. Assume that some thousand lines of the 10,000 lines of the code is there, sir. Okay, like that. Now, sir, I'm calling, I'm calling print a square it print a square it a is nothing but print of square it a some some four i'm taking sir what is my expected functionality yes arpita ashwini what is my expected functionality can you can you spell out sir if if it is a square it functionality what is my expected output sir my expected output should be 16 16 but uh, if this function what it's going to do sir it's going to return only eight eight this function is going to return eight oh something goes wrong something goes wrong okay you didn't write the code properly there is somewhere bug is there now you have to analyze the code you have to analyze the code and the where is the problem where is the problem you have to identify that so this process is nothing but debugging are you able to get sir now what i will do it is a very small code right that's why we will check hey why it is coming to why it is not coming 16 man why it is coming 8 like i will check then immediately are here i took 2 into x man no 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 you should not take 2 into x you have to take x into x are you able to understand that right? we have to take x into x sir that's all this is nothing but what 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 this one is nothing but what okay square debugging process clear at very top level sir so don't feel only two lines of the code in real time thousand lines of the code is there sir so we require to analyze where is the very something goes wrong very something goes wrong you know most of the times instead of greater than symbol we are always going to think somewhere else about ipl movie ipl or otherwise cinema we are going to keep less than symbol are you getting it? instead of greater than symbol somewhere we are going to take less than symbol are you getting it? instead of taking one record as uh, are taking one record sometimes we may take by mistake we may take uh, multiple records we may take uh, multiple records are you getting it? sir instead of considering sender by mistake i may consider receiver are you getting it? i may consider receiver are i have to transfer 10000 rupees from my account to some other account but uh, at one time the transfer is going to be happen to some other account but not my intended account oh somewhere something goes wrong you have to identify and you have to fix that problem this thing is nothing but debugging ashwini are you able to understand yes now you should not use toda toda <laughs> are you getting are you are you able to understand right what is the what is the meaning of debugging debugging means somewhere something goes wrong we have to identify where is the problem we have to identify we have to fix that that thing is by default considered as debugging concept next up the most common way of debugging is usage of print statement correct or not the most common way of debugging is usage of print statement remember that sir so it's a very common even in any other language also even in java also man our hand is always going for debugging are you here hello i will keep on sop statement is it printing or not uh, like i will i will check r sop of x is the x value the 10 or not i will check such a type of thing is nothing but we can very commonly use it right but uh, there is some problem is there there is some problem is there with this approach right there is some some problem is there with this approach what is the problem anyone can you please tell what is the problem is suppose why i'm adding these lines anyone can you please tell suppose assume that assume assume that sir this is about my statements right assume assume that assume that these are the these are my statements statement one statement two like dot 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 there is some statements are there now sir somewhere something goes wrong so here here sir hello hello will be printed or not for debugging purpose i'm adding some print statement print of hi like this right so somewhere just uh, i'm taking print of so hello hello hi something like i'm taking sir very common very common now i will identify sir it is printing sir oh it is printing means it is printing means uh, so there is no problem up to this man the control is coming there is no problem up to this control is coming man keep one more one more print statement execute again sir no problem sir it is also printing oh can you please sir keep one more print statement and check now sir if i run this one it is not going to print oh 
clear indication the control is not coming to this place why the control is not coming to this place man where is the problem you can analyze this code and we can able to fix it sir somewhere instead of less than greater than symbol by mistake i use a less than symbol that's why the flow stops here only this thing is nothing but debugging clear are you getting now what is the very common way of debugging sir the very common way of debugging is usage of what the print statement but make sure sir there is a bigger problem is there with this print statement the problem is i identified sir i identified the bug why why here instead of less than symbol instead of less than symbol i took greater than symbol sir now i changed that i changed the sir less than symbol only now it's working properly hand over to the client are getting working properly hand over to the client then the client trying to execute happily it's going to run no problem at all but if the client open console compulsory these print statements also will be displayed or not these print statements also will be displayed it is a bigger problem man. because why you added this print statement to identify the bug but after bug after debugging you have to remove this print statement if you are not going to remove these print statement yet run time these print statements also will be executed unnecessary memory waste and some unnecessary statements we are going to execute may response time our performance is going to be down correct or not okay so this is the problem with the sop statement or print statements remember that sir okay debugging purpose sop or print statements not recommended to use because after fixing the problem compulsory we have to delete the, these print statements otherwise they will execute at run time even after hand over to the client also client is going to get left and right are what is the meaning of hello what is the meaning of hi why you are writing these extra statements like a client may give left and right that's why never recommended to perform debugging by using by using which which statements right remember print statements then how you can able to perform debugging sir very simple how you can able to perform debugging very simple sir we should go for yes sir the statements are you getting right we should go for what yes sir the statements sir. sir in java assertions concept is there which was came in the 1.4 version remember have you remembered in java yes sir the statements are there even in python also yes sir the statement is there sir which can be used for debugging purposes remember that sir how you can able to use debugging purpose sir very simple what is the main advantage of assertions when compared with the print statements what the main main advantage of assertion when compared with the print statement very simple sir yes sir the statements you can add the any number no problem at all any number no problem at all these such statements after fixing the bug we are not required to delete by default yes such statements by default will be disabled on the client machine are you getting right by default yes such statements will be disabled on the client machine that's why so these yes such statements won't be <laughs> executed on the client machine remember that sir won't be executed on the client machine that's why like your print statement you are not required to remove happily you can write any number of sr statements you can leave that even after fixing the bug also clear somewhere you may have java hyphen a option but in python i don't think such a type of option sir but anyway sr always going to return so true if it fails then we will stop like it's so like that that with the example let me let me explain sir clear are you able to understand what the need of yes sir statements right okay now sir for which purpose we can use yes sir statements for which purpose we can use yes sir statements yes sir statements can be used just for debugging remember that single word sir for which purpose we can use yes sir for debugging purposes we can use yes sir statement that's all sir okay how many types of yes sir statements are there remember how many types of assert statements are assert statements are there two types two types right what is the first one simple assert what is the first one simple simple version can you spell out what is the second one sir ha ah, first one is the simple what is the second one ha ah, what is the second are you respond man first one is the simple what is the second one 
ah complex ah why you are always thinking about complex man very simple version <laughs> very very simple version which is also known as augmented version are getting very simple version which is also known as augmented version remember that okay so this part uh, we will discuss in the next uh, session don't worry sir matter of uh, another 15 20 minutes with example small example i will discuss so that you people can feel more comfortable right and the immediately we are going to start we are going to start yes uh, sir what is the next topic file file handling concept we are going to discuss right okay that's all sir